Talking about water, the county's Department of Environmental Protection hosted the H2O Summit. Susan Stark was there and has more about the event. Water is one of the leading issues that people are concerned with and uh, it's very important for us to advocate for water quality and for all of our watershed groups in the county, which we've seen increases in, um, to advocate for clean water also. Having clean water is on a lot of people's minds since the news about Flint, Michigan spread nationally. That's why concerned citizens, organized watershed groups, and local agencies got together to discuss the latest environmental issues. Um, so today we, we talked about the value of partnering, uh, working together to increase the infrastructure in our, uh, the green infrastructure in our county. Um, you know, we've talked about green gardens today, bioretentions, um, you know, changing things in, in communities in the right of way that, you know, not everyone knows about, but uh, understanding that they really will uh, make a big difference in, in how our stream health is um, and the quality of our water in this county. We also, we have breakouts that the community groups can go to to learn more about um, how to write a community grant that can affect their water quality and improve it. Um, how can they uh, learn more about the pesticide law that just was adopted in, in, in the county uh, that we'll be unveiling. And, um, also, if there's a watershed group that's out there that um, is concerned about how can they outreach more to the, their community, how can they get more people involved. Um, we have a, a presentation from the University of Maryland on auditing an outreach program. You know, how do you get more diversity um, and how do you reach different, different groups to uh, more about water quality and have them be engaged. And um, basically just in increasing communication and you know, learning from each other, working together for these projects so that we all have um, you know, clean, clean air, clean land, and clean water. The event was open to anyone interested and many came away with more knowledge about the WSSC progress in upgrading water and sewer infrastructure across the county. The Department of Environmental Protection's new web tool about green infrastructure projects and networking with different organizations. I hope that they can uh, learn that project isn't uh, you know, something that is done instantaneously. It takes a lot of people, a lot of partners, um, a lot of communication, and really it's, it's not that uh, the government is doing something uh, on its own or solely. We, we really need everyone to be involved to make it a, a great project and know that uh, water quality is important to all of us and how do we best work together uh, to improve our green infrastructure uh, in the county. and, and you know, learn how, how we can have more of it. For more information about the H2O Summit, go to mygreenmontgomery.org slash H2O Summit. For County Report This Week, I'm Susan Stark.